Wind has just kicked in. Ooh. Back with another video, folks, where we're going to talk about the best feature on the Nikon Z6 II, which most other camera brands don't have. We're so lucky these days to be at a great age in photography where the tech we have in our hands is absolutely amazing and will allow us to create anything we can imagine. We can capture all those moments happening right in front of us. I mean, the ability to create pretty much anything we can imagine truly at a great age in photography where most photographers are combining a service offering both video and stills in their business. But there's one stumbling block for many photographers. Some don't like shooting both. Some don't like being a hybrid photographer because they think the process is awkward, cumbersome, and just isn't smooth. So what makes the Nikon Z6 II good at this process, allowing you to jump between video and stills in an instant? Well, a simple little switch on the back of the camera, this one there, if I get that focused, allows you to instantly switch between video and stills mode. So let's take a look at how easy it is to use that switch on the Nikon Z6. Now we're not in the best environment, we're just in the studio, but it'll give you guys an idea of how this will work in a real event and how quick it is to do and shoot through the camera using that little toggle switch. So we'll switch it on, we'll start in stills mode. So imagine you're at a wedding, you're in an event, you're taking pictures over here, something's gonna be happening over here. So we're gonna swing and we're gonna record and then we're gonna go back and start shooting stills. Shooting stills, record video, back to shooting stills. This is how quick the process is. We're shooting stills, something's happening over here, and then we'll look, oh, something's happening over here, we'll flick into video mode, press record, and we're recording straight away. And then something's happening back over here, we'll want to shoot back into the stills, so we're back into stills. Being able to do that in an instant makes the whole process so easy and smooth. So that was just a tiny little test, folks. I'm not able to give you a real test because the weather is horrendous outside and I'm home alone the day, so there's just me, and you in the studio. But it'll get you thinking, it'll get you guys understanding how quick the process is using the Nikon Z6 II and that switch. Now, you might be thinking, well, it's just a switch. Well, it's not only just a switch. Switching between those modes saves your setting. So if you're shooting stills, say at a wedding, and you're capturing some images, and then something happens and you want to capture a bit of video, you've got your settings dialed in for your stills, You've obviously already had your video settings dialed in because you've already took some before. You can instantly flick between the stills and the video, capturing both moments in an instant. Now, I don't shoot weddings, but I can imagine as a wedding photographer, that is going to be an invaluable tool to have when offering this service and it allows you not to be able to miss any of those magic moments again. Now, you don't have to be a professional photographer if you're a hobbyist and you've got this camera and you like shooting your family, which obviously most people buy cameras to do just that. Obviously shooting between obviously stills and video has never been easier. You're never gonna miss those fun moments that happen with the kids when they're growing up, those special moments with family get-togethers. You're not gonna miss it. You're gonna be able to switch between these nice and easily and capture all those special moments without really having to think about it. Now I don't believe any of the other big boys on the market, in the mirrorless market, have that feature on them. If they do, leave a comment below. The only camera I'm aware of that does have it is an older camera, the Canon 200D, which I've used in the past, love that camera, absolutely fantastic camera. And what made that a fantastic camera for me was the functionality, how easy it was to use that little switch on the back, being able to flick between stills and video is absolutely amazing. It makes the process of creating so much easier. And so it just allows you to forget about the tool and just think about creating. And that's the whole point. I think Nikon have made a great decision when designing not just the ergonomics of this camera, but obviously the functionality of the buttons allowing the creator to create and just forget about the tool that's in the hand. You can really rely on a camera like this to allow you to have the freedom to create. I mean, it's never been easier or more fun to be able to create. I think you kind of take this button for granted, like it should always be there. It should always, you actually think this button should be on every camera because it kind of just seems right now in the, the time you're with mirrorless cameras being able to shoot video and stills, that a function like this should be across the board to make the whole process so much easier. So you do take it for granted. If it wasn't there, I would highly, highly miss it. Fumbling about in menus to switch between video mode and stills doesn't work. It doesn't allow that 
free creative flow that you need when you're just out capturing it just doesn't work so having that switch having that toggle switch is super super handy and really really a nice touch on the z6 too obviously also available on the z6 that's been there on the z6 since it was launched and on the z50 which i'm shooting with now and that also makes that a really fun camera to use as well so features like this on cameras like this makes the whole process so much easier and i just wanted to point that out to possibly people who maybe didn't realize how quick and easy it was who are kind of looking into buying an on z62 or a z6 or a z50 that switch allows you the freedom to create and just have fun which is what creating is all about pick it out with the tools and have fun so there you go folks that is it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have give it a thumbs up because it helps get these videos out there subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i will see you guys in the next one see you then